Hello, Sagittarius's. I'm going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, just whatever the cards want to say. Um, I was getting that your person's having a lot of the last reading I did, I was getting your person's having a lot of spiritual epiphanies. The synchronicity is there. They're really opening up to love and destiny. I got a visual of them like seeing your name carved in the sidewalk or just hearing your name repeated. Maybe mutual friends are, are talking about you. Just lots of synchronicity. Maybe like they, you know, you pop into their mind randomly and they just happen to be, you know, walking by a wedding dress shop or something like that. Just that kind of energy. And they smile and, you know, I, I get them being open and smiling. So for this, this group of Sagittarius is, as you know, I like to reiterate for new people, but I'm only going to take a minute or so to do that because I know I want to get to the rest of the story um, to where we're at now. But for this group, it's like your person's been working on their commitment issues for an entire year. And usually when someone has commitment issues, I just say, you know, like, just drop them. You don't deserve that. You don't want to deal with that. But with this group, it's like your person actually is a really good person. I think they're just damaged, like maybe just neglectful childhood, uh, bad relationships. But the difference is, though, with their commitment issues and the average person's is that they're actually doing the work this past year to change. They're not just ghosting people anymore. They're not just saying, oh, that's just the way I am. Like they're really some of them had a midlife crisis. Some of them are really starting to think, you know, like, I don't want to be alone when I'm, when I get older. Like I, I want love. I want to be with someone. I want family. You know, I think this is a person that usually goes from like job to job or relationship to relationship, or they just can't seem to st sit still. And it's like, they were running for so long. <clears throat> and I feel like the past year, they just kind of stopped like they just don't have the energy to run anymore it's like they just had some kind of breakdown like tower moment after tower moment like they just they cannot run anymore they just don't have it in them and they've really done a lot of soul searching this past year and they're becoming their true self again i feel like they were very detached from who they really are for a long time they were really running from themselves for a long time, and it just feels like the past year they're really, they've gone through a lot. Like, I think 2020 was chaotic for them in both good and bad ways. Like, I feel like that was a very life-changing year for your person. Like I said, they did a lot of soul searching. They really finally stopped, and they were forced to face themselves. They were forced to think about their future. They were forced to to be in the present moment more and make some really tough decisions because I think they were going down a dark path for some of them and they realized that if they didn't change that, you know, which is they might not come back from it. So a lot of them just had these, started having these epiphanies about who they want to be, about what they want their future to look like. So it's like they just, they, they got tired of their own crap, basically. They got tired of themselves. They got tired of running. They got tired of not being able to commit to anything in their life. They got tired of um, not being able to have a healthy, stable relationship because it scared them too much. It was too much for them, too intense for them. You know, and, and again, this person isn't this person isn't shallow. Like usually with commitment issues, sometimes I'm like, OK, just don't even deal with that. But this person isn't shallow. This is someone who is really emotionally deep. Um, they just their commitment issues are for other reasons, like fear of rejection, not feeling like they're good enough, um, fear of getting hurt. Um, but it's like deep down, they do actually want a family like this person on a soul level. This person is actually very family oriented and they just didn't think that they could have that or they didn't think they were good enough for it or it just scared them. There's just a lot of fear and a lot of just running and they didn't want to face themselves. They didn't want to do the healing work, but it feels like the past year they finally broke down and they're finally doing the necessary healing work. And it's been very up and down. It's been very chaotic. Uh, very dark sometimes very messy you know healing usually is but but they've overall the past year even though it's been kind of like a roller coaster I still you know because I, I tune into them every couple weeks when I do these readings and I, I've still get the I've still been getting the consistent energy that they are getting better like they are healing they are you know listening to their soul finally instead of their ego they are becoming their true selves finally they are accepting and embracing that they are a family-oriented person and that they don't want to spend the rest of their lives running and sabotaging every good thing that comes into their lives 
So, so yeah, consistently it's a better energy that I've been getting from them. And the, the reading I did a couple of weeks ago was really good. It was like they were really just open to, to love finally, to destiny. Like the synchronicity was there. It's like their, their soul has emerged. Their soul, they went through a dark night of the soul is what I think happened. Hidden truth, loyalty, stability, vows. Make your move, green light. Some of them are struggling. Truth and clarity. Trapped, blocked, tied up. Hmm. What is this trap about? Submissive, weak-willed. Okay, what else? Some of them could be dealing with the... With a karmic, hmm. I did not see the karmic before, so I don't know if this karmic just came in out of nowhere. Maybe this is just a message for a couple of you, because I'm, I'm not sure what to make of this energy here. It could also be a karmic cycle. This karmic cycle that they were in, the sphere of commitment, but they are coming out of that. Let me, has something changed? Are they not coming out of that now? <laughs> no, okay. They are wrapping up. Okay, they are. Yeah, it's just more reiterating. There is a karmic cycle that's wrapping up. Some of them might have had a karmic comeback kind of unexpectedly, trying to get them to be submissive again. And it could just be a test for them that they have to face, like a final kind of test here. And maybe the karmic is what made them afraid of commitment. Maybe the, the heartbreak from that. But I feel like there's like open and honesty. So they, they might just be getting some closure with someone. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. I'm not getting any. I'm not feeling like love from that situation. I just feel like there's some kind of karmic psych. That for some reason, their guides wanted to let you know that there is a specific karmic cycle that just kind of came up unexpectedly that they're wrapping up. So this could be like an ex texting them out of nowhere. And maybe you know, maybe this is just for like a few of you. Maybe like you know about it and you got worried. And it's kind of just, your guys are kind of just saying like the ex is just coming up to wrap up that cycle. Like they just, they need closure with each other. Um, or it's like a different karmic cycle or something. There's just something like a final test is kind of the energy I'm getting from this right here. Um, and maybe some closure that they're getting with someone, but, but with you, I feel like the hidden truth is that they want to be loyal. They want to be stable with you. They want to make these promises to you. They want to make the move, but there is one challenge that they have to get through first. That's kind of keeping them. Yeah, that makes sense. Seeing the, the lining of the cards here. There's one more truth they have to face if they want to have clarity. And the truth is that there's one thing that's been keeping them kind of blocked and tied up. One, again, could be a person, could be an addiction, could be like they've bettered their lives, but they still have like a problem with drinking. You know what I mean? Or like they've bettered their lives, but like they still have feelings for a toxic ex that they need to let go of. You know what I mean? It's something like that. It's like a final pattern, like a final test that they're really going through right now. It's like the final breakthrough is kind of the energy I'm getting here. Let me know if you guys want me to, if you guys like the longer readings or the shorter readings. I'm kind of starting to think maybe I should just do like 10 minute readings instead of like 20 to 30 minute readings. But let me know like if you guys have a preference for that. And if you want a private reading, um, I can go more in depth into, you know, your person, what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, um, whatever you want to know. This is just a, a general energy reading for this this group but if you want specifics then just send me an email my email is right below in the description box uh it's dragon enchantress at aol.com but like i said it's right below so you can just copy and paste it okay so we have passion romance and any donations are appreciated too my paypal and cash app is also below so thank you guys for that uh, passion, romance, soulmate, past life connection, soul contract. So they have a past life connection with you. You are pulling them in. I think you're in your power. You're just kind of slowly pulling them in. They do want to make this love offer. I feel like there's this fear that you're going to be cold or guarded or distrusting because I feel like they took so long to get it together. So this could be someone that you have not talked to in months, maybe even longer than months. Or like maybe you've talked here and there, but it's like you haven't really discussed 
where you guys stand with each other. It's just kind of like casual conversations. Like you haven't talked about the deeper issues that need to be talked about. So for some of them, it's like they are wanting this with you, but they just don't know where you're at anymore. Sense of belonging, home, safe space. Pride, stubbornness. You guys could have like, there could have been like miscommunication, arguments, personality differences. It just feels like this person wants to talk to you. It feels like they are ending. And their soul might be aware that there's one more karmic cycle. Oops, sorry. Their, their soul might be aware that there's one more karmic cycle that needs to be wrapped up. And so that could be part of the hesitation is like they know maybe things maybe things just kind of got thrown at them. Like maybe they were kind of because the, the energy I got them in a couple of weeks ago was really good. And this is still good. It's not it's, it's still a continued story. It's not this isn't bad. But I mean, the energy of a couple of weeks ago was like a little bit more high vibrational. Like they were just like smiling, thinking about you, dreaming about you, like just, you know, birds were chirping like everything and that kind of happens with the dark night of the soul is is you hit that rock bottom and you go through this intense purging process and it is really dark and depressing sometimes but it's also very freeing at times it's also like you have this whole new perspective like your person is becoming their true self and that's a very messy process it's it's not always stable and easy to understand you know what i mean it's it's kind of chaotic sometimes but the energy they were in was very spiritual, very high vibrational a, a couple of weeks ago. They had a lot of angel souls around them, I feel. Um, could be like some fairy souls around them too. Lots of really high vibrational energies around them. Uh, lots of synchronicity. Their spirit guides were really on it. And just reminding them of you. And I feel like some of them... I hate to say it because I know it's, it's it's frustrating to be like, oh, I think they almost reached out, but they didn't. You know, I hate to say it, but let me see. Is that? Yeah, I feel like some of them almost reached out, but some of them, like, their guides were like, wait, no, like, you have this one karmic cycle you need to wrap up. Or their fear got the best of them. Like, they started wondering, like, if you would really be open to them after how much time has gone by, if you guys haven't talked for a while. So some of them just got in their head too much. Um or some of them, like I said, some of them, like the, the signs were so strong that they're like, screw it. I'm going to reach out or they had like dreams about you or something. And they were just about to reach out. But I think their guides might have block them because there's one more karmic cycle that needs to be wrapped up. So it's almost like they were like going to reach out, but then their ex messaged them or like something happened, like something happened with them recently, maybe that like is stressing them out or taking their attention away a little bit. Um, but, but it's all, it's all good in the long run. I mean, it's just something that needs to be wrapped up. Maybe it's something they can't bring into your, their relationship with you. You know, like maybe like a karmic cycle with a person or a situation that just needs to be cleared so that they can come forward. But yeah, the desire is there. I just sense like a hesitation and like a pride, like maybe they know they need to apologize, but they don't want to, they don't want to admit they were wrong. Um, they don't know if you would if you would even accept this love offer from them like they don't they're they're vulnerable but it's like it scares them that they're vulnerable a little bit you know what i mean like they don't know what to do with that vulnerability you might also have a new love coming in mental instability Yeah, either they're mentally unstable or you are and like someone needs to pause and reflect and rest and kind of like question things like because you've been waiting. Divine intervention. Yeah, something's like toxic, but then there's like divine intervention synchronicity. Hmm. What is this energy? I almost feel like it's just like a final test. Well, this could be you too. This could be you going through a final test. You could have, like, a toxic person and the divine's trying to get you to, like, you know, decide, like, do you want that? Do you really want to give into your loneliness and stay in that cycle? Or do you want this new love that's going to treat you better? Like, you decide. You know what I mean? Like, some of you are kind of in that. For others, I think it's your person. Like, they're wanting to reach out and they're in this energy. And 
but something just some kind of karmic cycle just came up like wait you got to clear this up first um and it's kind of like just distracting them a little bit so they're not sure what down there kind of like waiting like they don't know what move to make on you now because they're like dealing with this whatever this is and like I said it might not be a person it could be like a situation or something it could be family drama it could just be something that just is kind of taking their attention right now um divine intervention synchronicity though they're, they're they're the divine is helping them get through it they're helping them cut that cycle out so that they can have this new love Feels like someone's choosing between two people, and you know what your story is, so this is either you or them, but, hmm. Courage. Yeah, sudden turn of events, fast-moving energy, so there's, there's a lot going on right now. <laughs> um, this person, this person could be the one being tested. There might be, like, a toxic relationship, and they're like, okay, do you want to end things with the karmic and free yourself so you can have this, like, and this could be you. You could be the new love. You know what I mean? Like, because it's like, it's new. Like, you guys have both changed. You've go, gone down your own paths and you'll be coming into it like, like it's destiny. It's, it's, it's new. It's, you know, renewed love, I guess you could say. But they have to get through this challenge. Whatever this challenge is, it's going to vary from person to person. And like I said, if you want a private reading, I can look more in depth into what the specific challenge is, you know, who this person is, who that person is, whatever you want to know, really. But the, but the gist of it is there's there's something that some test that they need to pass. And then if they pass it, they have the go ahead to finally reach out to you so long as they can get past their fear. So it's, it's good energy overall. Um, thank you guys for watching and please subscribe if it resonates. And like I said, my email is below for private readings.